Hi, uh, some people think that spray foam roofing is installed like using a jetpack or something like that. And I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. Hi, this is Greg Pallia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. Today we're going to talk about how a spray foam roof actually gets installed. So we've had some people out there, uh, some business owners that have never heard of spray foam roofing before and they're kind of curious, like how does this stuff actually get installed? Is it installed through jetpacks? Do you guys, how do they go on the roof, etc. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, and the first question is, um, you know, just typically randomly or, you know, just in general sense, how does it get installed? So there would be a box truck and a stake side at your facility. And the two materials that make spray foam, it's an A side and a B side, and they're in 55 gallon drums. And they'll sit in those box trucks and a hose will run up the side of your building and they'll go up onto your roof and they'll connect to a internal uh, mixing spray gun. So on your roof will be just a couple roofers, the hose and the gun, that's pretty much it. Um, and they, the spray foam roof is fluid applied. So um, just goes on your roof nice and light. And then there will be a coating rig um, kind of behind them, a couple guys that will be spraying coating over your foam roof because spray foam needs to be protected from UV rays. So the coating goes off the top of that. And that's pretty much it. Um, another question, what equipment is needed to install a spray foam roof? Um, so like I said, kind of the uh, stake side. Um, there's a generator. So there's like two trucks, a generator, hoses, and a couple roofers. There might be some windscreens or they might spray out of a booth if it's real windy, but that's really all the material that's needed. Um, how does spray foam, how does the product actually get formed? Um, so I brought a little sample here. This is kind of a sample of a spray foam roof. The bottom would be the deck or your existing roofing substrate. Uh, this is the foam area, the yellow part, and there's actually coating. I know it's very, very small, and there's actually embedded granules on top of there as well. This is kind of how it is. This is the final product. So like I said, it gets sprayed as a liquid, and it'll rise 30 times its size within a couple seconds, actually, and it'll fully cure within a minute. It'll be that one and a half inch around there for your roof, and then a thin layer of coating, and the granules on top into the coating. That's pretty much it. Uh, how does the coating process go? Um, like I said, there's just people that follow behind the spray foam installers. They're installing coating and it'll be between 20 and 30 mils thick usually. Uh, a mil is one one thousandth of an inch, so it's very, very thin. But coating is necessary to protect the foam roof from the UV rays. And last question is, what are the proper installation requirements? People wonder, can you install this in the winter time? Can you install this anytime throughout the year? So there's really three requirements. One, it needs to be 50 degrees and rising. Second one is that the wind needs to be kind of under control. We do use, um, you know, wind screens and we spray out of a booth um, in certain stages, but if it's too windy and there's too many assets that are around the area that could be damaged uh, with some overspray, we just won't spray it all and we'll just delay the project an hour or come back the next day, etc. cetera. Um, and then it has to be dry. So no rain, the rain will react with the chemical when it gets applied and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's it for today. If you have any other questions of all the stuff we went through today, please click the link below. It goes to a blog post that has more details. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.